my name is Miles McNamara. I'm a full-time WordPress developer, Node uh, part-time developer, and a uh, full-time geek. Uh, this is Mustafa. Um, you can, who do you work for again? <laughs> Turning Point Healthcare Solutions. I work in the healthcare industry. I'm a back-end developer. My primary focus right now is on microservices. Um, my little bit of background, we've been working in the mobile space for quite a while. And uh, back into the back end of uh, Back into the back end side of things, and uh, really enjoying it. So, we had uh, we had two other uh, people with us too, BJ and Cody, um, who helped on the majority of this code base as well, which couldn't be here um, today. Um, but basically, uh, I have before we came here. Um, this is actually our first tab hack too. Um, and before we came here, I have a friend who runs a call center, um, and so I prompted this to him and said, "Hey, give us some kind of viable." you know, commercial solution that we can come up for, for you or that we can solve, you know, that could be turned into some kind of business or commercial application later on. Um, so he gave us a few things. A lot of them would have been very difficult. We couldn't do over a weekend. Uh, but the one we decided to go with was uh, what's called a third-party verification system. So uh, real quick, when they, when in a call center, they're trying to sell, uh, you know, energy or gas or something to somebody, um, they call that person. Once a person agrees, yes, I would like to um, you know, go with this plan, whatever it is, they have to buy their contract, they have to have a third party verification. So what we set up for them uh, was basically a way, um, currently there are a few people who do it, but it's very archaic. Um, you have to send them a script and then they'll take a few days to upload it, whatever it is. So um, we made it, basically made it to where it's completely dynamic. Um, and so the idea behind this was initially to use um, the XML um, and basically create an XML generator, in a sense. Um, and so we had gone through looking at using a different, uh, couple of different technologies. Um, the actual back end runs on Node with uh, MongoDB um, and Express. And then um, we started to use, we were going to use API Day stuff, um, and we were kind of limited by the features with the XML. And then we were looking at using the Avaya, but the, which I'll explain here in a second, um, it seemed like it was limited to four recordings um, per that situation. Since we're going to have a dynamic setup, uh, we ended up actually using Plevo's API um, because we can make the API call and have unlimited number of recordings. So um, basically the way it would be set up is the user can come in here and they can create their own apps. So if you want to go to apps, um, they can create their own apps. So here's a, an example one we did, go to manage. Um, and so the idea behind it is that they can have an unlimited number of steps. And so the way it works is when they call in, you know, it's going to say, you know, agent enter this. They basically want to be able to record the user saying, yes, I agree to this. Um, and so if you want to just edit one of them so you can see real quick. Um, and so the idea was, like I said, is to make it completely dynamic and basically generate the XML for it as we need to. So, you know, you can select, you know, what kind of language, whatever it is. Um, that it's real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so you'll see here in a second, I'll call it. So you can select the language. And all it's doing is just generating XML. Um, and so what we, did, what we did through this is just to have it so that um, one of the things he told us that was an issue was that um, you know, when they call and the client's like, uh, you know, it says, you know, client at the end of the tone, you know, state your name and address, whatever. Uh, one of the issues was that the client may say something wrong. They may not say it right. So he, we had to come up with a way to uh, basically allow the operator to pause and go back to the initial step. Um, so I believe uh, Zhang actually has it too. It's where you have a finish on for a recording where you can use either a star or a pound. Um, so the way we did it was we just checked if a star was used, it would basically pause the recording to go back to the original step. If it was pound, it was basically accepted. Um, so I'll go ahead and call it here real quick just so you guys can kind of see how it works. Thank you for calling the TPE secure terminal. For your protection and quality assurance, this call will be recorded. Agent, please edit and hack five digit ATM pin number. Sorry. I did not get your response. Yeah. Let's try again. So we had to figure that out to so loop back if we need to interact, right? If this is correct, please press 1 or to try. Agent, please enter the 10-digit telephone number from someone at Tag Hack. The number you entered.
Sorry about that. No, don't worry, it's demo notes. That's who it's taking. We lost an hour or two, so. <laughs> somebody would be talking and they'd be like, oh, I, I said the wrong thing, and we'd have to actually pause it pause. and bring it back so then he can explain to the client, okay, you need to say your full name, your full address, this and that, and then you hit start again to restart it. Customer, please state your full name and telephone number. Miles, one, two, three, my lane. Customer, please state your service address, including city, state and zip code associated with this account. No, thank you. Thank you. You have a 30-day So, as you can see, we changed it to a mail address on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which was marked the fine print detail. You agreed to give us everything you owe. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you for mowing with some company natural gas. Your verification is complete. And you are now completely broke. Thank you for not the Thank you. Your verification code is... And so then we had to generate the verification code right for it. Two, um, one, and nine, basically the way that it works four, is... Five. Um, Thank you it's for actually calling. very similar. Goodbye. It's actually very similar to the way the recording uh, work with uh, Zang, but um, it basically posts back to it, and so we take those recording calls. So if you want to go up to the, the main page, um, it should start showing up on there now. Um, do you want to go to verifications? Because we actually had it, because there are going to be times where we'll have incomplete ones as well, um, you know, where somebody may not complete a call, whatever it is. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the latest one. It should have been 411 here. Bottom. Yeah, so we need to fix that so it's, you know, reverse order. Um, so the idea behind this was that, um, and the difficulty was that, for their contract, they needed to be able to have the full recording of the entire call plus sectional recordings of each one. So we had to have that beat, you know, where it says after the beat. Um, so we had to find a way to separate all those things. So you can literally go through, and if you play that, it should play back exactly what we were just going through. Um, but then we also have here. Thank you, you for calling the TPV secure terminal for your protection and quality them. assurance. And then, so you'll see here we have these separate sections. So, if you just want to play one of those separate sections, Miles 123, my lane. And so, it's, it, it was organizing these things so that you basically bring this technology into the future, so to speak, and then, you know, we can make money, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, uh, that's kind of the whole, the whole backing system of it. If you want to show, go ahead and show them um, on those other tabs. Uh, you'll be able to see uh, an example now. If you go up to just the tab, the other tabs, where the XML is shown. Oh. Chrome tab? Yeah. So you'll see um, basically what we did with Express was we created endpoints um, based on the app, which would be created. And eventually we want to integrate it to where we would be able to register phone numbers um, you know, for new users. So when a new client signs up, it automatically registers through the API, generates this. Um, but it's based on each step. So you have a step that keeps going through each step. Um, so you'll see here, this is the first step, or you know, the third now. Um, but yeah, so you'll see this first step, then you have your second, the incoming, um, then you have your steps. And so it did, basically all it was doing is just generating that XML from our actual website. Um, so then when the call comes in, you know, we can output whatever we want. Um, I think that's about it, unless you have anything else. That was cool. Excellent. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you.